Alright, so I am back and today I just wanted to do a quick like um, channel update, um, giveaway updates and stuff. Um, so first off, let's talk about the giveaways. Um, so we've successfully funded the Perfect Effect Dragon Megatron. Um, it's still on pre-order, so hopefully it comes out in the near future so we can look at that. Um, and so currently we are doing the Fans Toys RC and the um, Generation Toy, I think it's Generation Toy, the, the Prowl, the uh, IDW style Prowl. Um, so we'll be taking a look at those guys hopefully soon. Uh, I still have tickets available for both of those. Uh, links in the description to the Facebook page below so that you can hop over there and uh, see if that's something you're interested in. Uh, again, tickets are $5 a piece. Uh, you send them over to me as friends or family um, so there's no fees. And then, um, and then yeah, winner pays shipping. I look at the figure and then announce a winner, piece of cake. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on with the giveaways. So really hope we get these funded soon because there are some other figures that are coming out in the near future that I want to do giveaways for as well, uh, including the uh, Masterpiece Dinobot that's coming up. Um, uh, but I kind of want to, you know, clear clear the board first before we go further. Um, so yeah, so if you're interested in those figures, the Fans Toys RC or the um, IDW Prowl, uh, sh you know, hit me up on on Facebook and we can uh, get you some tickets. Um, yeah, uh, so that's that. Um, as far as the uh, the the review style goes uh, for the channel, so now we're going to go into some channel updates. Um, I'm, I, I really am enjoying the way I did that the um, like the prime and the bumblebee turned out because you know yes the bumblebee was kind of a train wreck um, prime was a little difficult to transform but I really enjoyed it it really does kind of help depict how I feel about the figure right out right away as opposed to like oh I've had this for a couple weeks now um, so for now, I, I, I'm going to continue that uh, unless everybody just starts really, really hating it. Uh, with the with a few exceptions to it, uh, uh, the giveaways I'm not going to do that because you know those aren't my figures. I don't want to be messing with it and accidentally break it um, because you know I'm, I'm going at it without instructions, so I'm just kind of messing with it. Uh, so I'm not going to do that with the giveaway figures. Those ones I'm going to continue the the old way of you know looking at the instructions and planning it out and etc uh and then other exceptions to that rule would be like um like i just got uh what is his name crankcase i think i got him and uh this is from dark of the moon obviously it's old it's used i've already kind of messed with it um so i'll transform him like normal um and same goes with uh Excuse me. Uh, the Star Scream from the Studio series, series, and the Blackout, which you know everyone's like, you got to get these, you got to get these. I'm like, hey, have them coming. Uh, but uh, they, I got these from um, a fellow reviewer um, in a trade, so they came loose. I've already messed with them, so can't quite, <laughs> you know, take them out of the package and get initial feedback. Um, so we'll be looking at all three of these movie figures next week and see if we're done with the movie figures for a little while. Um, I know the Megatron's coming out soon and Jazz, I think. I know there's a lockdown coming up, but I'm not going to get him. Uh, but Jazz, definitely, I'd, I'd be all over that. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's what's going on there. Um. Uh, as far as that goes, um, and then as far as the reviews themselves go, um, and channel, um, uh, I am running low on figures to review, so it's gonna, we might turn into a situation where we're only gonna review things here and there. I do have some other figures from other lines coming, so we'll look at those when they come in. Uh, 
which brings me to a side topic. Outside, because of, I pre-ordered my Dinobot and my Shadow Panther through Big Bad Toy Store. So unless I can find another store that has them available uh, to pre-order, because a lot of them are starting to sell out pretty quick once I have money. Because Big Bad Toy Store, one of the, one of the few good things about it is that you don't have to pay up front for the pre-orders. You pay when they come in, which is nice. Uh, most other stores you have to pay up front for in full for the figure uh, to secure the pre-order, which I understand. Uh, you know, it's nice a big bad toy store does it that way, uh, I, and I understand why other ones. Uh, so if, so, if somebody like Chosen Prime or Toy jo Dojo or something like that has them uh, available for pre-order once I have the money for it, then I'm going to pre-order from them and cancel the big bad toy store. Uh, I... If not, uh, I, I'm going to get those two figures from Big Bad Toy Store. Outside of that, I am done with Big Bad Toy Store. I am over their games. Uh, mini rant coming up. I Ridiculous. It was absolutely freaking ridiculous. Uh, so I placed an order on Friday. Uh, I wanted to use my PayPal credit. You, you, you place your order... And I click the PayPal. You don't have to log into PayPal, which I do not like. I mean, every other store out there, everyone, you have to log into PayPal to use PayPal. This one, you just use it PayPal, and they just like, oh, yeah, we'll charge you later. It's like, what What the hell? You know, uh, so, I, so because I didn't log into PayPal, I wasn't able to choose which... Uh, payment option I wanted to use. I, I, I mean, I've got four options in my PayPal. I got my PayPal credit. Um, I've got my, um, my personal visa card. I've got my, uh, bank account. Uh, and then I've got PayPal, ba uh, the PayPal balance. So it, it, it doesn't let you choose which one of the four it chooses for you. And now I have my, my PayPal to set, uh, my default payment is PayPal credit. And they still didn't use that. Instead, they went to, to my bank account, which, you know, it's it kind of put me in a little bit of a bind this week, but not, not terrible. Um, but it was just kind of like, I put that money in my PayPal credit so that I could buy that. And now I essentially paid for it twice because now I got, you know, that money that I put in the PayPal credit, which you can't, you can't just take back from PayPal credit. Uh, you, you can't have it back. You can use it for something else, but it's like I, I put that money in there for these figures, and instead they charge my bank account. So, you know, it's like what the fuck. Uh, and then, so this is this is this is just asinine. I've never seen this before. Uh, and I know sometimes Big Bad Toy Story in the past was slow, but this was ridiculous. So I placed the order on Friday. Uh, I'm waiting to see where it's going to charge because it didn't tell me where it's going to charge. So I'm worried about it. I'm trying to, you know, make things work. So Friday goes by. Nothing. Saturday. Nothing. Sunday. Nothing. Monday. Nothing. Tuesday. Finally, they charged my bank account. Five days of pending payment. And in those five days, I wasn't able to cancel the, the order because I'm like, fuck this. I'm just going to cancel an order for somebody else. I'll order from eBay. You know, pay a little bit extra, but I'll be able to know exactly where it's going. Uh, five days. I understand that there's a, there was a holiday weekend and they probably weren't there. Uh, but my issue there is is that every other website I've ever ordered from has a payment system where you pay automatically online and then they'll get the order when they come in. That's what I'm sitting there like, why aren't you taking my money? It just, it makes no sense. Um, so then I think they finally shipped it on Thursday. So it's been almost a week since when I ordered it to when it's being shipped. Um, if I, it, Chosen Prime didn't have these figures. Otherwise, I would have ordered from them. I love Chosen Prime. Excellent customer service. I mean, I know I know there's a ton of toy stores out there in the world. Um, and everyone's got their favorite. Personally, Chosen Prime for me. Um, but excellent customer service. 
If I would have ordered it from them, they would have charged my card immediately or charged whatever I wanted to charge. Um, they would have done that right away. And in all likelihood, I'd have that figure in hand by now. Um, usually, you, because they're, they're actually only like a state or so over from me, um, from order date to in hand date is usually two to three days for me with them. So it's like a week before they even ship is just blown away. And a lot of those smaller toy stores, you know, they, they're like, hey, you know what? It's Saturday. We're still open. We're going to ship your item today. Not, well, we'll wait till the next business day, which is going to be next Tuesday, uh, to charge your card. And then we'll give it another two days to process it. And I just said, that's like, this is so stupid. Uh, anyway, done with Big Bad Toy Store. Um, you're not going to see Big Bad Toy Store logos on my channel anytime soon. I'm done with them. I've had my fill TF source, although they do have a bigger selection now. Uh, so I might, I might go back to them here and there uh, if the Chosen Prime doesn't have it. But yeah. Anyway. Back on topic. Uh, so a channel update, quick channel update here. Um, so as you guys know, uh, in my job, uh, I'm always on call. I'm, you know, middle management. I'm always working. Uh, that's why there were no videos uh, last week. Um, just because I was so busy at work and it just kind of came out of the blue because uh, one person quit, uh, another person was sick, and one more person was out on vacation. So I was like, <sighs> Um, and that was kind of the, uh, straw that broke the camel's back there. Um, and so I did put in my notice. Uh, it, I do think we worked out a deal where I'm going to stay on, um, for like night audit and get my 40 hours there. Uh, but I'm not going to be on call. I'm not going to be on the management team anymore. And I'm going to be able to take some time off. Which, oh my god, I haven't had a vacation in two years. Uh, I'm not trying to bitch, I'm just, just explaining. Um, so, you know, that's going to be great. Uh, so I'll be able to get some time off. Uh, a set schedule, so I'll, I'll know what days I have off. I can set up time to do reviews. Uh, a lot easier than I have been lately. And... And a possibility of moving forward with either that career or other career options um, and just kind of see where I land. A um, little bit of a pay cut, but, you know, whatever. It's, it, money isn't everything. Um, you need your sanity, too. <laughs> you need to have some time off. You need to, um, you need to be able to relax and enjoy life, not, not just work, 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 you know. 300 bucks 300 extra dollars is not worth that much effort i mean it just it wasn't um so anyway uh that's what's going on there so hopefully things are gonna stabilize here until we're out of figures to review anyway but uh we'll cross that bridge when we get there um um and a collection update uh as you guys can probably see it's dwindled quite a bit um i kind of i don't know i was just was kind of over the G1 figures for a while, um, G1 characters for a while, uh, so I'm taking a break from those. Um, just kind of going back nostalgia-wise and picking up those figures that are very nostalgic to me. Um, yeah, I, I was I was I was born in '84, so while the original G1 Transformers were a part of my life, I didn't have too many of them, so they were they're not like oh my god, this is so important to have. It was more about like they're there. Beast Wars was a much bigger thing to me uh, at the time. So, so yeah. Uh, so that's everything going on there. Um, uh, let's see here. Not really anything else to go into. Uh, I'll probably do. I'm probably gonna do like a movie summary review in the next uh, couple of weeks where I just kind of talk about a number of movies because I've, I've missed the mark to, to do reviews on like Thor Ragnarok like I just watched that not too long ago Black Panther um, Deadpool 2 uh, Avengers uh, I'll probably just kind of lump them all into one like 
overall summary summary of movies I've seen in the near or in the recent past. You know, that's one of those things that kind of suck about work. Uh, the way it's been is like I had planned to do a review of all the Marvel movies leading up to Avengers, uh, the, the Avengers Affinity War, and then have an Avengers Affinity War review right after it came out. But unfortunately, uh, I just I just I just didn't have the time to do it. Um, so, so it's things like that. Uh, and I, this, I, I mean, I don't make any money on this review channel, so at all, not a penny. Um, which, you know, I'm more than happy with because I've just shared my hobby with people that enjoy me. Um, so, so it's just one of those, like, I, I wanted to do that. I thought it was going to be a lot of fun, but I just didn't have the time to do it. So maybe some other day we'll just, or maybe it was for like a month or something like that while when figures are light because figures have been very light this year. Um, I've there's not been much of anything. Um, it's it's been pretty pretty dull. I, I think that's why I kind of went ape shit over the uh, the prime. Is just like oh my god, finally something something great. Um, you know the power of the prime figures are, are entertaining, but they're not like oh my god, this is great. Uh, I know we've. Two's coming out soon for Power of the Prime, so we should be getting um, the rest of Abominus soon. That would be nice, um, but mostly it's like it's been pretty. Or I guess is it Wave Three? Yeah, but yeah, it's been pretty light lately. So it's just like uh, uh, just nothing that I'm like, oh my god, I need to have this. I mean, uh, slight, slightly well rant. I mean, come on. Uh, we'll see what, what is it? Bad cube that's making a masterpiece sideswipe. <laughs> oh, that's just stupid. I, I'm sorry, that's just stupid. Um, you know, there's other characters that need to be made, and you're gonna redo one of the best figures that came from the masterpiece line. I understand it does look a little bit better, but not enough to warrant third-party prices uh, and then replace an existing uh, Takara figure I, I, I can't I can't see it I can't see it uh, let's see what else is going on in the Transformer world lately um, there's been a debate going on on whether or not Transformers could transform uh, Skullface put his two cents in there um, you know they've kind of talked about it um, some other people have been talking about it my 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 end all discussion to that is transformers is a race of characters that transform so transformer transforms um, it, it's as simple as that i mean look back uh in the g1 canon which is um g1 beast wars and beast machines uh, there's only two Transformers as a race. There's only two Transformer characters that were that weren't able to transform. One of which was Autobot X, um, which was everyone kind of just figured, you know, took it as a monster. And then there was uh, Transmutate for Beast Wars, which everyone considered as a monster, an abomination, and should just be destroyed. Um, both sides are like just like it's it's broken. It's a broken transformer because it can't transform. I think Megatron's exact words was, "Uh, it can't even transform. Get rid of it." Uh, so, as far as I'm concerned, a transformer transforms. Uh, that's the gimmick of the line. Transformers transform. I'm sorry. Uh, you know, the Quintessons never transform. The uh, humans don't transform because they're not transformers. That's not part of their race, so they shouldn't transform. Uh, their characters in that universe, which at the end of the day is the Marvel Universe, uh, the G1 canon anyway is Marvel Universe. Uh, go back, watch watch the watch the cartoons. It says Marvel at the end of them. Uh, read the old comics. It says Marvel in the top corner. It's a Marvel comic property. Uh, it was obviously that didn't last forever, but G1 canon takes place in the Marvel Universe. And because it's in the Marvel Universe, not everything in that universe transforms. But the race of Transformers 
transforms because that is what that race does if the transformers don't transform they're no longer transformers they're something else they're just robots and robots just aren't as interesting as transformers as far as the toys go uh personally i see no reason why a transformer can't transform i mean this guy is pretty freaking spectacular um uh, yeah i know it's for a bayverse figure blah 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 but uh, he's pretty he's pretty damn good and he does have a pretty good action figure element and he transforms so I, I get that that flame toys drift uh, you know that doesn't transform but that's because it's a Hasbro property that they sold to another company to make the figure um, this is why this is why you'll never see Hasbro sell the rights to Transformers to another company because when they do the only thing that they're allowed to do is make the character they're not allowed to make a Transformer that's why he doesn't transform it's not because it's not because they didn't know how to make it transform it's because they didn't have the license to let it be a Transformer um, Hasbro owns the rights to the Transformers there's no way they would ever sell the rights of Transformers to another company because they don't have to pay royalties for their figures. Um, it's it's a different story for like, let's take Star Wars, for example. Star Wars is owned by Disney. Uh, they own the rights. So they sell those rights to Hasbro so Hasbro can make the figures and make money off of them. Uh, or Hasbro makes the figures and they give a uh, chunk of the profit to Disney uh, di and Lucasfilms. Uh, so if Disney and Hasbro were to have an argument and Disney were able were to pull the plug on Hasbro, they could then turn around and sell the rights of the figures to a different company or create their own toy company. Like Toy, um, toy Biz was bought out by Marvel back in the uh, late 90s and became Marvel Toys. And then eventually they sold the rights of Marvel to, to Hasbro. Uh, now Hasbro... Uh, the difference there is that Hasbro owns the right to the Transformers. They don't. They don't pay royalties on it. That's it's their property. They don't have to do anything that they don't want to do. Uh, so they wouldn't sell it to another company where, you know, they would only get a chunk of the profits. I mean, why would they do that? I mean, they when they could just get all the profits. Um, so no, that you, I, I, you know, to answer that question, I, I, I know that you'll never see uh, Hasbro figures. Uh, get uh or transformers go to another company completely uh you'll see them outsource a few things uh i think there was the prime one studios prime or whatever i can't remember the big the big superposable optimus prime which was looked really spectacular but it did transform same with the giant scorpionark that came out a few years back um and that's part of the reason why they're so expensive it's not because the figures worth that much money, but that's how much Hasbro is charging them in royalties to make the figures. So, so I understand if some people really like that drift, but for me, uh, it's an easy pass because it's it's not a transformer. Um, end of the day, I, I I've said this before and I'll say it again. I remember when I was a kid, I was at Target with my aunt, and she was gonna buy me a toy. And it was an action master like Grimlock, I think, or Bumblebee or something like that. And I lost my shit uh, because it didn't transform. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Transformers transform. It's not a transformer if it doesn't transform. I, I, it just it freaked me out as a kid. Uh, so, so yeah. Anyway, anyway, I'm done with the little mini rant there. Um, so yeah, that's so that's a, there's updates on on the channel. So. Um, I think the general idea, though, going all the way back to the beginning of the video, um, people are liking my, uh, new review style. I mean, and like I said in the Bumblebee review, uh, you know, there, you got a hundred v reviewers showing you how to transform a figure. Um, uh, you got a, a dozen reviewers that are just enjoying the figure, you know, Baldwin does that a lot. He, I, I like his videos just because he's he's enjoying the figure. Um, so I, I kind of like his style, but I don't want to steal his style. So that's why, why I'm doing it this way. Is it's kind of a variation of his style. You don't get that first impression of the figure. Um, and I've enjoyed it. I'm having a blast with it. So I'm going to keep doing it uh, as long as you guys seem to like it. 
and then I will just kind of go from there. Um, obviously, the figure looks super complex. I might just do it anyway. Uh, we can make it into a fun drinking game, like I said. If uh, if I if, if I make a mistake uh, or a cuss during the review, or I get flustered and like throw the figure down, take a shot. Uh, if I have to look at instructions, down your drink. Uh, and then <laughs> if, um, uh, if I break it, down your drink. <laughs> it could be a fun drinking game. <laughs> Maybe I should start putting them in the evenings instead of the mornings. <laughs> what do you guys think? Should I, would you like to see my reviews in the mornings or the evenings? Um, there's the question for the day. Uh, comment below. Let me know.